Dear me, at a younger self. I'm guessing you're about 10. The, the age that actually was my favorite age, 10. Oh yes, I have blonde hair. I dyed it to be in a play about 10 years ago and I liked it and I kept it. So it's been blonde for a while. I've been in community theater for over 30 years doing character parts and designing and building scenery. I love it. It's lots of fun and to make the audience laugh it's such a great feeling inside. And I still like to draw. See the picture on the wall? Yep, I drew that. And you hear a cat. Yes, you still have a cat in your life. All through your life you've had a cat. And this one's extra spoiled. <laughs> music. You still play the piano and you love music. You have a good ear for music and language. And you can speak more than the languages that you know now. You can speak Italian and smatterings of other languages. And you know why? Because you've been there. You've been to Italy and Saudi Arabia and Austria. And you've been all over the place. And I want to go back to... I love it. I love it. That adventurous streak that you have. You still have it. Oh, don't let people tell you that guys don't like girls that are smarter than them. That's what you've been hearing lately. Don't believe it. Don't dumb down for anybody. Don't go for second best. If you have a goal, go for that goal. So you have to wait a little longer than other people for some guy to like you. It's okay. We're all late bloomers in this family. You have to wait a little longer. But it'll be worth it. You know guys and gals from all over the world. And it's so cool. Um, the internet. The internet is something... You know how the TV works? Of course you do, because Dad showed, showed you. The internet is kind of like a system of TVs all over the world that can see the same thing at the same time. Not that it couldn't happen before, it just happens all the time, every day, now. And there's a thing called a computer that's like a TV screen and a typewriter in one. And you can actually talk to, type, or talk to face to face, like on the TV screen, like on the Jetsons, when Jane Jetson calls her friend up and she can, they can see each other. You can do that now. And those inventions they had on Star Trek, like the communications officer had that thing in her ear, they have that too. I'm waiting for a flying motorcycle. I know it's possible. They have little tiny miniature homemade airplane things you can build. They, they ran, they're out of style right now, but they were real popular when you were a teenager. But uh, maybe I should invent one, huh? Yeah, ask Dad to teach you as much as possible. Dad and Grandpa were both inventors. And Dad was an electronic engineer. Oh, sorry to break it to you. Yeah. Well, I'm 57, and Dad died about 17 years ago. So if you have questions, ask him. Ask him. Don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to ask your parents anything. Or listen to the older folks when they tell you stuff, because they've been around. They know. A lot of younger people don't listen to older folks, and that's a mistake. I think a lot of mistakes can be avoided if you do listen to the older folk stories. Oh, where was I? I have a list of things and I still don't know if I missed anything. I, I think I hit about everything. Your self-worth. I know it's not very good and you're told you'll never amount to anything, which is something a parent should never tell a child. But you hear it a lot. Don't believe it you're worth a heck of a lot more than you think you are. They're just people that don't know how to deal with their own lives that tell you those kind of things. Your self-worth is millions and millions and millions of dollars worth. Don't let it go. Keep learning. Keep being smart. So you know lots of useless information. 
it comes in handy sometimes. So you're good at saving. Yeah, try to keep healthy. That I'm going to say, try to keep healthy because that's really important. You could be a gazillionaire and if you don't have health, what's the point? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you'll get to attend lots of cool things, of festivals and events and speak to people in other languages. It's just, life is really cool out there. You just have to find it. A lot of things come to you, but sometimes you have to go looking. But don't look too hard, because then you'll lose yourself. You don't want to lose yourself because you're cool. I believe in you. I know you can do it, because look, here I am. You're saying, yeah, but I cry and I'm upset. Yeah, I still cry and I'm upset a lot. I cry for happy things, I cry for sad things. I think I'm just wired that way. Sorry. And you're asking, oh gosh, do I have anything else to look forward to? Yeah. You know how goofy you are now? You're still goofy. <laughs>